Israel's military says it has confirmed that Hamas military chief Mohammed Deif was killed during an airstrike in the Gaza Strip in July. In a statement on Thursday, the Israeli military said that Deif was targeted in a compound on the outskirts of the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunus in a July 13 attack. Following an intelligence assessment, it can be confirmed that Mohammed Deif was eliminated in the strike, the statement reads. There was no immediate comment from Hamas. The strike on July 13 had killed 90 other people, including displaced civilians in nearby tents, Gaza health officials said at the time. Israel's confirmation of Deif's death comes a day after Hamas top political leader Ismail Haniyeh was killed in an airstrike in Tehran. Venezuela is gripped by protests after dictator Nicolas Maduro rigged elections. Statues of former President Hugo Chavez are being vandalized across the country. Protesters burned down the office of the mayor of one city and the regional electoral commission. In one city, according to the video, protesters seized a tank. Recall, Protesters have taken to the streets again in Venezuela as opposition leaders are disputing the results of a weekend election that saw President Nicolas Maduro secure another term in power. A large crowd, many waving Venezuelan flags, chanted, We are not afraid. Opposition protesters also marched in the cities of Valencia, Maracay, San Cristobal, Maracaibo and Barcasamedo the demonstrations come a day after Venezuela's National Electoral Council formally confirmed that Maduro had been re-elected by a majority of Venezuelans to another six-year term as president for the period 2025 to 2031. That announcement fueled widespread anger and pushed thousands of Venezuelans to take to the streets of several neighborhoods in Caracas and elsewhere to voice their opposition to Maduro and his government. They were met by tear gas and rubber bullets fired by police. A local monitoring group, the Venezuelan Conflict Observatory, said it had registered 187 protests in 20 states by Monday evening with numerous acts of repression and violence carried out by paramilitary groups and security forces. At least 11 people had been killed in incidents related to the election count or the protests, rights group Foro Penal said. Aquí no vamos a llevar esta mierda también. Lo vamos a llevar. Ah, bueno. Following the recent losses sustained by the Wagner Group in Mali, the Kremlin will need to undertake a large-scale replacement of its mercenaries in Africa with soldiers from the Russian Defense Ministry's African Corps. Meanwhile, part of this corps has recently been redeployed to the Kharkiv region to support the offensive actions of the occupying forces according to the Institute for the Study of War. Several prominent Russian military bloggers critical of the Kremlin claim that the Russian Defense Ministry is taking pleasure in the Wagner Group's losses and suggest that the Russian military leadership may use this incident as a pretext to halt the deployment of Wagner mercenaries in the Sahel and fully replace them with units from the African core of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Some Russian bloggers have cited an unnamed source within Putin's administration indicating that the personnel of the African Corps will replace Wagner forces across the Sahel Trio, Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. The Institute for the Study of War speculates that the African Corps may currently lack the capacity to adequately replace the Wagner Group, especially in Mali, as elements of the Corps were recently deployed to Ukraine to participate in offensive operations in the northern Kharkiv region.
Supplanting Wagner at scale following losses such as those accrued in the recent ambush would likely involve redeploying some African core fighters to Mali away from the front line in Ukraine and the Russian military command likely does not see completely supplanting Wagner in Mali or elsewhere in the Sahel as a priority effort at this time. The ISW report states. On July the 27th, Tuareg rebels from the CSP-PSD movement showcased photos and videos of a destroyed Wagner convoy in Mali. The fighting took place in the town of Tinswatan near the Mali-Algeria border on July the 25th and 26th. At least 20 Wagner fighters were killed and those who survived the battle were taken prisoner. The Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has announced the continuation of successful actions against Russian war criminals from the Wagner Group in Africa.